Should you play volleyball like Predators? Uh, I say definitely yes. It's just that being able to play like a Predator isn't that easy, so I'll share with you my thoughts and advice in this video, which will help you to play better volleyball and win more games. Volleyball is not football, the match cannot end in a draw. In volleyball one team wins and the other loses. One team is the Predator and the other the victim. One team celebrates and the other mourns. Players don't feel fatigue and pain after winning a match. But the players of the losing team are devastated, uh, some physically, some mentally. In my professional volleyball career I have never met a player who likes to lose. I have always played on teams that uh, wanted to win uh, every match, uh, even if they couldn't win uh, every time. Or do you like to lose? I don't think so. And that's why you train so hard to win, uh, sometimes your whole body hurts, uh, sometimes you are angry that your performance is weak, still you try to be better than your teammate, uh, you want to be better than players in other clubs, uh, you want to play games and uh, tournaments, uh, you don't want to sit on the bench. You want to be there when your team wins, you want to celebrate after the game, uh, you want to be useful to your team. And you also secretly hope that one day you become uh, a volleyball star. And you all know that uh, it takes a good or great team performance to win. No player wins alone. But just a good performance is no longer enough. If you look at the best leagues in the world or the world championship uh, finals, uh, you need also other things to have a good team uh, performance. And one of them is uh, Killer Instinct or rather playing like volleyball predators. I don't literally mean uh, you want to kill everybody like in the Predators movie. Instead, I mean setting your mind and uh, behaving similarly in matches like Predators in the wild. In the nature everything is clear, stronger animal wins. And the same is true in volleyball. The stronger team wins. We can play a volleyball match in gloves like gentlemen's. We can play like uh, we are having a friendly chat over a cup of uh, black tea. Yes, uh, we can be friends uh, with the opposing team uh, players before and uh, after the match. But during the match uh, we want to achieve our goal. To be better and win. Or do you want to lose? I myself experienced a situation where the coach told us before the game. There is one money. Either you take it uh, after you win or the opponent steals it from you. What do you want? Do you want to be out of money? But before you can become a true predator in volleyball, you need to be equipped and uh, prepared for the task uh, just like predators in nature. You need to play with brain. Sure, most predators on earth don't have the brain capacity of humans. It's just that uh, when we are talking about volleyball, you can play without a brain. You can just attack with your eyes closed and uh, be as aggressive as possible on serve or on a block. In volleyball you have to think a lot uh, or rather have uh, well set uh, automatisms that react correctly to the situation in the game. You should know uh, when to play aggressive, uh, when to be patient and wait for the moment to attack uh, or when the opponent uh, starts to get tired and play wars in the match. 1 million touches. In order to play like uh, volleyball predators you have to control the ball. You have to be the master of the ball in any situation. Therefore, you need a lot of uh, repetitions and touches uh, with the ball. You need approximately 1 million touches uh, with the ball. Yes, I mean 1 million times to play the ball technically correctly. This number of uh, touches will guarantee that you will be prepared for almost all situations in the match. No ball will surprise you and you will be able to focus on your opponent. Uh, you will be able to think of uh, predatory strategies to win the match. AI in mind, a huge memory and uh, computational capacity is also an essential prerequisite for a volleyball predator. You literally have to be as good as the AI. You should know the strengths and weaknesses of hundreds of players. For example, Leal, playing for the Brazilian national team. He's an uh, excellent predator, a great attacker with a powerful serve. But he's not as uh, strong at receiving serve as he is at other skills. Or maybe you should know that uh, Erwin Engapet is an amazing player, but he's not very disciplined on the block, rarely keeping his hands uh, steady on the block. This is how you should uh, analyze all the players in your competition. You should know something about each one. Keep a file on him in your database, uh, know where he is strong and where on the other hand uh, you can exploit his weaknesses and attack him like a top predator in a match. Let's take a look at a few practical examples and ways why you should uh, play volleyball like uh, predators in wild. Shark. 
sharks travel oceans and wait for their prey. They can smell a drop of blood in millions of liters of seawater and go mercilessly after their target. You should cultivate the same instinct in volleyball. A match is a fight, that's a fact. That's why in match uh, you watch your opponents closely, analyze all their movements and actions. If you smell a chance, uh, take it. Take advantage of the weaker moments uh, of the receiving player, serve to him. Take advantage of a smaller setter on the block, uh, attack more over him. Take advantage of your opponent's uh, service error in the end of the set, avoid it yourself. Just wait for your opportunity and uh, when it comes, uh, go hard for it. Killer whales. A fantastic example of predator is the attack of uh, killer whales, who intelligently team up in harmony and pursue their prey mercilessly. The same is true in volleyball. If you want to play like uh, predators, you need to have this instinct bred as a team. You need everyone to be tuned into the same frequency. And as soon as uh, you sense a chance for success, as soon as uh, an opponent uh, shows some uh, weaknesses or loss of focus, bench together and go hard for your goal as a team. Anaconda. Large snakes are also a prime example of a predatory mastery. Not only do they wait patiently for their prey, but once they catch them, they slowly but surely crush them with their immense uh, pressure. They don't give uh, the victim a chance. In volleyball it's uh, similar. Once you are doing well and you are on the top of your opponent in a match, uh, you don't want to loosen your grip. You don't want him to wriggle out of your grip. That's why you can't uh, loosen the pressure if you have your opponent uh, under you. Play with uh, maximum concentration at all times. Don't give him a chance to breathe. Uh, don't give him a chance to get out of your grip. Constantly increase your pressure on him. Hyenas. Or maybe hyenas. I wouldn't want to hear their sounds uh, with my own ears uh, too close in nature. They attack in groups, uh, waiting for what's left or for the time their prey is uh, getting tired before delivering a killing attack. You can do the same in uh, volleyball. Set a high bar. Play very physically demanding uh, volleyball with uh, lots of long rallies. I have experienced it myself. Some teams were used to end every action quickly. And if their first attempt at the attack uh, didn't end in a point, they started to get nervous. They weren't prepared for a long battle for every ball. But if you play well on the defense and smart on offense, even against a stronger opponent, uh, it's clear that every action and scoring one point will cost you and your opponent a lot of power. And you can take advantage of this uh, situation even against a better opponent who is not as physically prepared as you are. For example, if you know that uh, your opponent's uh, main attack power is built on one player, then you should pay more attention uh, to him. Make that player hit uh, several times in a row in one rally. Then after 70 attacks and 3 or 4 sets, uh, you have a chance that this point machine might get tired. He won't be scoring as many points uh, for your opponent as in the beginning of the match. And the tide of the match uh, may start to turn in your favor. So be ready to fight for every point. Uh, be ready to tire your opponent out. Once you do, your efforts will bring uh, positive results. So my advice is in matches play like volleyball predators. Be ready for a predatory strategy. Be aggressive, look for your opponent's uh, mistakes. Uh, don't let your opponent relax. Don't let uh, your pressure tire your opponent out. Both players and teams thrive uh, more than teams that play it safe. Courage can get you wins uh, and that's uh, what volleyball is uh, mostly about. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.